to the third match between Masucci and White thus far. Masucci up two games over White. Bottom left hand corner, Masucci starting as the red. Zerg bottom right hand corner, we have White starting as the... I'll call it Midnight Green this time. The Midnight Green Protoss. This is on Revolver, and it is BSL Season 13 Hasu League semifinals match. Potentially the final match if Masucci wins. Otherwise, I wanted to give... So while I was thinking about it, I had uh, an anonymous viewer in the background wanting to... Uh, wanted, it reminded me to make sure that I encourage people out in the community to donate towards the BSL effort. So there's going to be, I think there is now a Reddit thread on r slash brood war that has BSL looking for organizer support. And it would be fantastic. There have already been a lot of small donations to make BSL self-sustainable. You can sign up on Patreon. There's also, if you want to just give a straight up tip and be anonymous, there is the stream elements to ZZ0PL. And if you want to be an official big sponsor, go to, uh, or check out that link because it has Zero's email where you can email him directly to be kind of an official business sponsor over the long term. Looks like we're seeing a Forge opener, by the way. Other announcement out there, if you haven't already seen it, uh, Gypsy has an S to, or an F to S tutorial out there, which aside from, I think, being somewhat informative is also hilarious. I laughed so hard watching that last night, and I almost feel like it was something that was very... First of all, I actually, I really appreciate, I'm going to say I really appreciate Gypsy out in the community uh, generally because I, I think he uh, is one of those guys who has been picking up the needs in the community as far as things to make the community better at large. And I think one of those needs, of course, is, yeah, having just a better infrastructure. CPL has definitely been helping with that, but I appreciate his tutorials out there. And also trying to get in the head of what's happening in the F ranks. Masucci moving a drone scout now to the bottom right hand corner. Focus on the game now, instead of all the announcements I wanted to make. Checking the bottom right, it looks like he is going to be able to sneak by that cannon. Looks like he, since he sees that Nexus, preparing to be planted, he's just going to go ahead and back off. He did build just the two Zerglings, looks like drones to follow. Still no probe scout for white, so he's going to be in the dark. Which is going to be scary, considering the way the games have flown, have flown, have played out thus far. This is a map where 973 tends to be a little bit harder to execute because of these lurker eggs at the various locations. Gateway on the front. Masuchi might have a little bit of trouble as well because White, as you can see, as far as where he's putting his building placement, is doing uh, is kind of accidentally placing it towards his opponent. Nine hatchery. Sorry, nine o'clock base. Going to be a third hatchery. Not the ninth hatchery. Probe scooting out is going to get denied, but he does see this hatchery Already planted down the natural expansion. Has a decent amount of information. This overlord starting to float in position to get scouting information on the opposite side. A second cannon, however, has been placed by White. Mostly out of necessity because he was in, in the dark the entire time. And it looks like we do see a Hydralist den. We do have already the nine drones at the main. This probe is on the wings to go ahead and potentially see additional drones at the natural expansion. One already there. So getting that bit of scouting information. Two Zerglings are holding the ramp, but two additional Zerglings are being produced potentially to hunt that probe down. He's also able to sneak up that 9 o'clock base to know, okay, the potential of that build order. Cybernetic score warping, and it's going to be critical to keep this probe alive, and also critical to get a good look at drone saturation at each location. So there's three drones currently at that natural expansion. Additional drones being built. And this is going to be, yeah, a big part of this is... Can, and I almost wonder if he wants to bring these Zerglings back and hold that ramp position. But these Zerglings chasing down that probe wants to try to keep it away from the mineral lines. In the meantime, the Overlord scooting in to go ahead and get a good look at what's happening behind in the base. And currently, Cybernetics Core is there. But the star, or sorry, a gateway, a second gateway being built rather than a Stargate here. Level 1 weapons being upgraded. Hydralis Speed is being upgraded, so this looks like a, a pretty strong dedication to this. Second drone being produced, and it is possible there are variations where there's smaller drone counts at the 9 o'clock, but everything that is being shown here for Masuchi is essentially an early Hydralisk bust attempt. So although we've got eight drones, it looks like, at the natural expansion. 
and just two drones here. Looks like a hydralis are now being produced. It works regardless, though. It doesn't matter where the drones are, just that they're harvesting effectively. The Zerglings peeling up. So the drone, or sorry, the probe did a good job getting all the scouting information it was looking for. It now dies as the first hydralis is approaching. White has an indication that this is incoming. Should start plopping down cannons now. He does have two gateways to work with. Is building his first Corsair, however, and a Citadel of Adun behind this. Maybe trying to buy himself some time. Now, this is a little bit harder to... And it could be that he feels that this is just harder to execute at the natural expansion. And so he doesn't need to build as many cannons. Grabbing that second assimilator. I'd almost want to see a Zealot moving down. Because here the Hydralisks and Zerglings come. It looks like he's going to wait to the last second, potentially, to build cannons. The Zealots careening in. And you can just see, yeah, with that natural expansion, those cannons over the gateway doing a lot of damage. The Zerglings getting picked off. I believe... With this amount of Hydralisks, it's possible that level 1 weapons will finish. Maybe not. That uh, I take it back. That's Eventually I'm going to get better at reading that flat time, but it looks like, yeah, that's going to get picked up. The Zelts marching out to try to grab some damage on these Hydralisks and maybe buy some time for level 1 weapons to finish. But they are just sacrificing a lot of health and their life. A third cannon being warped in, but honestly, I would expect, I would hope for a fourth and a fifth. Because more Hydralisks are making their way over. And shortly, this is... Yeah, there's level 1 weapons was cancelled. And it's going to be very difficult for White to defend this. Particularly because Zealot Leg Speed still got some time. Three more gateways plopping down for White. But the Hydralisks continuing to attack this front door. White wants to play this with an, overwhelm, an overwhelming Zealot army. To try to follow this up. More Hydralists are pressing through. The Corsair looks like it got one Overlord kill to stymie a bit of the economy there. Masucci holding. He needs to hurry up if he's going to press this. Three cannons and a large amount of Zealots there on the front. Looks like he is opted to move to lo towards Lair Tech. So potentially going for a Zealot Contain. Or I should say a Lurker Contain. Which will be very, very effective against a pure Zealot army, which looks like this might be. So five gateways now. Six gateways? Five gateways now. The first one being taken out. Zealot leg speed finished. Templar Archives is warping in. This is going to leave White with a lot of spare gas. But he's building up a considerable amount of Zealots. And with the leg speed, if he can sweep them around, he actually might be able to sneak them out, move them all the way around, and pincer the Hydralisks, or he can just go ahead and storm out and try to attack this 9 o'clock. The 9 o'clock is very open. There's only three Hydralisks defending there. That is not a sufficient defense force. And this is the Lair, which is now upgrading Phenomenized Carapace. The Corsair moving back out to get some additional damage done. <clears throat> so let's see how Masucci handles this. This is certainly going to kill some drones. Those Hydralisks, short work for these Zealots. The drone's now fleeing, but he needs to save this Lair if he's going to proceed with his play. It looks like he was trying to grab an additional hatchery there at the natural, but that... Yeah, the drone's coming back in the line mostly to distract the Zealots and provide some additional time, some additional Hydralisks moving up, but there needs to be more reinforcements than this. So White getting a lot of damage done, or at least a lot of distraction done. More Hydralisks getting picked off. And this is more Larva, and now finally the attack force that was on the front door potentially for Masuchi is being backed off. The drone's getting wiped out here. One drone, woof, just, that's one lucky drone. The four Zealots now marching out, but a lot of damage done, and another flood of Zealots starting to walk towards the 5 o'clock base. The Zealots are everywhere. The Hydralists are trying to contend with these three Zealots to the north. But while that's happening, this 6 o'clock base might get wiped out. Just starting to work on that hatchery. The drones are pulling out. The Hydralists are trying to move up. Are the Zealots just going to ignore it and go straight for the hatchery? That's the next question. Now they're peeling off. Looks like they're getting picked off. This is a sufficient enough Hydralist attack force to deal with this at this stage. One of the hatcheries down. The second one is up. That's going to delay mining a bit. Lurker aspect finally finishes. So some Lurkers being morphed in the background. That's going to be a big swing of momentum. Overlord's being picked away against. But now there's been a huge momentum swing against White. Because he's got a whole lot of Zealots, and Lurkers trade very well against Zealots. 
We do have some Dragoons filling things out. You can see he's got all, all sorts of units queued. He did have a ton of gas spare to potentially build High Templar and things like that. The Corsair being picked off. White navigating his army out to go ahead and try to get a surround. Keep in mind, he does not have detection, so these Lurkers are just going to be able to obliterate this army. So White pulling his army back to the north. Masucci looking to crush this army, is taking some free damage on his Hydalus, trying to micro his way out at reinforcing Zealots walking in. And a couple of these troops, yeah, just getting a little bit too far out there. Range being upgraded. Robotics facility is up. Initial Observer is trying to be created. And White has managed to survive a potential bust, has also managed to prevent a contain, and is now moving up to the 9 o'clock, or sorry, the 3 o'clock base to potentially take his third. Expanding away from his opponent. Even on the overall worker count, the Lurker's starting to move up to potentially set up a contained situation. But this northern ramp is still exitable. There are a handful of Lurkers and troops to the north there. And with White's production, I'm not sure how long this is going to last. However, Masucci does have the supply lead currently. The Observer now moving out. The troops aren't there to really clear it. I like the check in the upright inclinator for Masucci, just making sure that additional bases weren't snuck. But now Masucci, yeah, continuing to... looks like he was keeping a grouping of Hydralisks back here. Level 1 Spines is going to finish. I still don't see a Forge out for White, but I, it looks like he planted them here in this back corner, <laughs> underneath my view. does have uh, an upgrade advantage, which means at even troop counts, he'll be okay. That Observer getting picked off that front line, that's going to hurt White a bit. So he's... He's got a, a skeleton crew of a defense force at the nine o'clock or at the three o'clock. Keep doing that. However, it doesn't seem like he's in position to go ahead and get a probe out there to build it. In the meantime, despite early setbacks, Masucci pushing his economy, continuing to grow, building more hydralisks, and I believe he's going for a contain. White sneaking out, able to clear some of those units to the north. This is the difficulty of revolver. Four Lurker contains is you just, yeah, you have that northern ramp that gets wiped out. Oh, White completely opening things up. Looks like he peeled out the three o'clock base, and rather than establishing an additional third, he wants to get aggressive. He's once again looking to engage at this five o'clock base. Still, no fourth gas has been grabbed from Masucci at that location. He's just now grabbing a third gas at the nine o'clock. And the Psy Storm is going to make potential reinforcement locations, unless this is being engaged at this location. Uh, hard to deal with it. Looks like he's also going to go ahead and try to... Wow. Expanding into Masucci. Going to grab that location. Masucci with the high ground. White walking up into it. The Zealots eating a lot of spine fire. The Dragoons now leaning up, but they got a... Ooh, a beautiful Psy Storm in that lower group of Hydalists, though. The Zealots able to clear that. Another great Psy Storm. The Zealots able to dodge it. On the wings, both lurkers down. Some Hydalists trying to sneak in from the north. It looks like they're able to pick two High Templar off, but not before all of their ranks have been completely obliterated. Looks like an Overlord's going to get picked off as well. So White's certainly going to be able to establish that 5 o'clock base. And with the troops he has remaining, might be able to do additional damage at an exterior location. A bunch of additional Hydalists being produced. It looks like we do have... I think that's the second evolution chamber. Yeah, double evolution chamber is now rolling to try to catch up in that upgrade grouping. It looks like both forges have been silent down here for white, which could turn around into a situation where Masucci, if he gets that upgrade lead, he's already got a strong economy, could shift that into a lead down the line. Swing around, picking off the one lurker on the high ground. Not a lot of the high Templars staggered from behind. Hydalus reinforcing from the north. The High Templar now moving in. Good Psy Storm blanketing them. So Masucci pushing in with a lot of reinforcements, but Psy Storm just careen just blanketing them from the north. The Zealots getting wiped out. And it looks like Masucci still has enough Hydalus that he's going to be able to push this army back. He's going to potentially find that 5 o'clock location uh, for his efforts. The Dragoons turning around another great Psy Storm. The Psy Storms have been really solid for White. I'm not sure if I want to say that White has just had brilliant Psy Storms. Or that Masucci has done a poor job dodging. Lurkers morphing to again hold at the 6 o'clock location. Four bases still rolling. Energy being upgraded right there. Probes now being transferred to that 5 o'clock location. A grouping of troops for Masucci also holding that 3 to make sure that 
White can't turn this into a base advantage. Gateway being planted, Assimilator also. White sneaking out to the north. Overlord down. Masuchi continuing to try to build some more Lurkers. He has not moved his way... Wrong base. He has not moved his way towards Hive Tech, so it looks like he wants to stick in this mid-game and try to play an overwhelming Hydralis Lurker style for the time being. He's actually behind in the supply count, ahead in the overall drone count if he can get good saturation. But White has done a pretty good job thus far. Sticking in this, is he going to get a turnaround size storm? Looks like he loses one High Templar. A fight for control, potentially in the middle of the map. Some decent cannons, some High Templar to deal with troops grouping to the south. It looks like White is thinking about instead expanding to the 3 o'clock. Hydra is able to get a single Dragoon there. All of a sudden, yeah, the upgrade advantage has now swung in Masuchi's favor. And with that power spike, easily able to sweep down the high... A side storm being dropped, but a high Templar picked off in the midst of that. Re-engaging, reinforcing to the middle of the map, trying to hold the high ground once again. White re-backing off. Looks like he still wants to, yeah, make sure that nothing's happening here at the 3 o'clock that's going to prevent him from taking that base. And also, Masuchi moving into a longer-term macro game, expanding to the upper left. Some Hydralisks catching the army a little bit incohesive, picking up another High Templar. Able to run and pick up a, a High Templar and dodge right back out. White with the, the supply lead. He's holding the bottom right-hand quadrant of the map, but at the same time, he's not slowing Masuchi down. And Masuchi is now finished Hive Tech. He's got that upgrade lead. Let's see if he's going to continue to roll with those upgrades. It looks like the Evolution Chamber is silent for the moment. Level 2 weapons just starting for White. But if White can establish some bases, maybe he'll have a better shot at what he was trying to do in the previous match. Which is just set up, shell up, and get better trades. Right now, though, some Zealots having some trouble, and they're just eating free damage on the front. Follow-up Psystorm not catching much. And this isn't much of an attack force from Suchi, and it just seems like it's getting a lot of damage done. Against a superior army on the low ground. Yeah, White doesn't want to run into this, but in the meantime, he's just bleeding troops that are on hold position. Masuchi pressing forward now, picking off High Templar. Yeah, dancing between these attack lines. He's st still got reinforcements in the middle of the map at the inside 9 o'clock location that he can reinforce with this. Yeah, just peeling down, picking off some troops, and pulling right back up. And still holding... What do I want to call this? The Southern Spike? Still holding the Southern Spike. Now reinforcing to the 3 o'clock base. Cannons up there. Masuchi sweeping around to the middle of the map with Lurkers and Hydralisks, but he has not burrowed his Lurkers to the west. So they're going to have to retreat. Now going to pull back and reburrow. Hydralisks pushing in from the south to go ahead and draw White back. Successful in doing so. And it looks like some Zealots are going to lose their lives. Both players having some trouble controlling their army. But it feels like Masuchi is getting the better part of this. Hive Tech is up. Another, a third evolution chamber being dropped, which suggests he wants to move towards that higher tier Lurker tech or get Zerglings the upgrades they need. Psystorm's up the high ground, the Archon moving up, but it looks like, yeah, White doesn't want to fight an uphill battle, so he's going to go ahead and back off. High Templar now in retreat. They're getting picked off as there's not enough to defend them. Only one High Templar remaining. Kind of a sweep force of Hydralisks diving in, chasing them, and backing off. So Masuchi continuing to hold this. An Observer finally checking out this upper left-hand corner. All sorts of troops here at the 5 o'clock. Part of my concern now for White in playing this long-term style is Masuchi has all sorts of drones to work with. He's got a bunch of upgrades to work with. And, on top, and the territory, the surface area that White has to defend is just much wider than Masuchi's. Masuchi can attack that 5 o'clock, he can attack the 3 o'clock, he can do both simultaneously. White has a very large death ball he needs to move around. Now trying to poke in, and he, you can see kind of the funnels where the Lurkers 
Yeah, on the edge. Psy Storm, good dodges from Masuchi this time. And on top of that, let's see if the upgrade swing, a level 2 armor, has come online for White. Looks like he's trying to position up to the upper right-hand corner. Maybe he wants to get an attack. It looks like some Zealots managed to sneak through. He wants to go ahead and attack this base. Getting some drone kills. Masuchi finally responding. But some Lurkers and Hydralisks have managed to sneak through an in-between location in the midst of this. An Observer trailing, so a lot of free damage on these Dragoons. Zerglings now sneaking in. They do not have speed, but they do... Forcing Psy Storms on Dragoons. But they're still able to sneak in and get some damage done. So the attack cleaned up in the upper left-hand corner. A handful of drones killed there. More reinforcements across the middle spike. This Overlord sees that there's mining happening at the 3 o'clock base. But the main is out for white. The natural expansion is still mining, but not extremely saturated. So he's basically running 3 base versus potentially practically 6 base in a moment here. Dark Templar now moving up. And White, yeah, this has just been a... It's been, what, three Lurkers and a handful of Hydralisks have been holding this lower spoke for large portions of this map. Zerglings also patrolling that upper right-hand corner. Hive Tech is there. The additional level three upgrades happening. We do have a Defiler Mound. Consume, potentially Plague or Dark Swarm. Could be big trouble for White. White now moving into the middle of the map. Some Dark Templar are able to sneak in the upper left-hand corner. I don't see any Overlords in position. So the Hydralisks, I'm not sure what they can get done. Some drones being killed. Lurkers unburrowed. The middle of the map's been cleaned up. And White getting aggressive now. Able to stop a lot of mining here in the upper left-hand corner. Literally obliterating this base. Lurkers finally burrowing. I'm not sure what the, this Overlord a little bit incompetent. But White now repositioning, realizing he needs to get aggressive. And slows opponent down, nearing 200 supply. Getting caught a little bit off guard by an army to the north. The Hydralisks is able to do a considerable amount of damage in kind of a wedge formation. But White still has a lot of side storm and overwhelming amounts of troops that are peeling forward into this. The Dark Templar holding position potentially to just take out this hatchery in the upper left-hand corner. And unfortunately, it looks like these three latent... Lurkers there, able to still get damage. Finally, the Lurker moving in, but not before... Or the Observer moving in, but not before these Lurkers able to do a lot of havoc. But White, starting to grab some map control of his own. And now he's holding the various spokes and dropping Psy Storms. White with a big supply lead. A little bit behind in the overall upgrade war. And keep in mind, Defilers are potentially right around the corner. Also, it looks like a drop is being loaded up from Masuchi to walk around this army, potentially to drop at the main. There are cannons there to help defend this. Plenty of cannons here at the 5 o'clock. And he might need those troops just to help him stop white. The Dark Templar are now working. It looks like they've completely obliterated everything in the upper left-hand corner. Working on the hatchery. The Hydral is finally able to clean that up. Looks like he... That was a clever maneuver. I think some... Or I thought some drones ended up sneaking in those overlords. Looks like not. White re-engaging in the middle. And now moving up to the 9 o'clock base. Drones completely flooding out. But like right now, White has managed to annihilate the drone line in the upper left-hand corner. He's managed to halt production at the 9 o'clock. The main is mined out for Masuchi. And Masuchi all of a sudden in a huge amount of trouble. Loses an evolution chamber. Potentially going to lose his hive. Does lose his hive. And White is now walking around the map. Practically unopposed. Natural expansions mined out. Masuchi's in trouble. Is not mining. Is behind in supply. The drop moving in. This might be the moment that swings the match. Zealots are there to greet it. Two cannons working on it as well. But it looks like, yeah, I don't know how effective this army is going to be. Because the Zealots were able to respond immediately. With reinforcements. So that got obliterated. These overlords actually might get wiped out as well. Just holding position there. And White, after kind of dusting off his hands, re-engaging at the natural expansion. Having some trouble going up that ramp once again. 
it's just the nature of Revolver. But honestly, all he has to do is wipe out everything in the upper left and Masuchi will starve. Is there anything left in these guys? Looks like there's a handful of Hydralisks and Zerglings, but these troops remaining here are more than sufficient to defend it. White reinforcing the upper right to go ahead and potentially grab those bases. In the meantime, Masuchi trying to sneak a 12 o'clock expansion. He's still mining somewhat unopposed here in the upper left-hand corner. Is in a bad situation, but the more time that White gives him, the better it will be. Especially if he can transfer some of these drones out here. He does not have his Ultralis Cavern. Looks like he is going to be able to hit level 3 Carapace. Already has level 2 Spine, so his Lurkers and Hydralisks are going to be rather strong. Some Dragoons eating some uh, Lurker Fire, but White now gathering up near 200 supply. And is looking to make a push in the upper left-hand corner. Potentially. Also, while grabbing this Nexus in the upper right. I still haven't seen any Defilers out on the field. And that might have been a potential big swing. It looks like he's going to go ahead and peek in, see whether that 3 o'clock base was re-established. And now swinging back towards the main. Reinforcements making their way to the upper right just in case. Masuchi near 200 supply. But I don't see where his army is. Where his white's army has just been kind of roving around the map. Handful of Zerglings trying to sneak through. They're going to run in headlong into some Zealots. Still not speed upgraded as far as I can tell. Yeah, same speed as these Hydralisks. Another drop moving across the map. That's where the army was. Trying to drop in the main. Eating a lot of Psy Storm. And the Zerglings trying to work through with a counter drop in the bottom right. Reinforcements are flooding in. I think this is going to be cleaned up fairly easily. A small pivot attack to try to be a distraction, but the upper right corner. But that's accomplishing nothing. The Archon's bearing down. An Observer gets picked off, but there's not any Lurkers with this attack force anyway. So Masuchi loses that army. These Overlords potentially going to lose their life. Another potential drop, although it's going to be much smaller in composition. And honestly, is, yeah, Psy Stormable. So Masuchi not able to get a lot accomplished from any of his drops. Really not hurting. Like, maybe able to take out some probes here. But otherwise, White is still rolling at three bases, and that puts him at three base versus three base Zerg, plus a, an optional base in the upper right hand corner. And usually, if you end up with a flat map split, Protoss versus Zerg, the Protoss ends up winning. White taking position to the north. Threatening here. Masuchi trying to shell up in the upper left-hand corner. White doesn't need to attack here. He is pressing up into this. The Observer is getting pushed back. The Zealots just eating a huge amount of Lurker Fire. Just getting shredded up here. And the Dragoons following. White just donating his army in the upper left. And loses... A big bulk of his army, Masuchi, immediately reinforcing more Zerglings and Hydralisks. And all of a sudden, Masuchi, with the supply lead, with level 3 Carapace finishing, some Zerglings and other units grouped up. Another army finally fielded by White, trying to re-macro. But this could turn into a long-term fight. Over the upper position. These drones getting caught in transfer. That's devastating. Sneaking up. The Zelts doing what they can. Kind of fleeing across the line. A bit of an army dropped into the upper right-hand corner. It looks like, to potentially deny this, White moving up there with his probe just to discover Zerglings and everything else. Already in position. He's also scooting up to go ahead and defend this 1 o'clock position. So that's cleared out. That's going to delay mining quite a bit. But Masuchi, in the meantime, has done a really good job of resaturating the upper left-hand corner. Has a smaller bank. However, White just seems to be donating armies over and over again. White now repositioning. 
The Zealots sweeping down towards the main. There are a lot of lurkers here. And we saw what happened that last engagement. This time, White going to go ahead and back off with that army. Catching a handful of Zerg Zerglings in between here. Masuchi re-engaging. White. Level 3 weapons, level 3 armor, by the way. Ignoring the shield upgrade. So upgrades, I think, just about even. Between everything. The Defiler Mound's been there, but I have not seen any Defilers. White GGing! What? Just calling it right there! What? We're gonna go back. I think a frustration. GG right there. We'll wait for things to catch up. White calling a GG mostly because... Feeling like Masuchi... We're gonna pause. To look at the situation overall. People in chat are saying recall with Arbiters might have been effective. Honestly, I feel like if he just uh, maybe walked along the south, leave some High Templar or Reaver up here, he has a, a sizable bank. I think he ends with the supply lead. This gets boxed out. You'd need to clean that up. But if he cleans this up and holds 1 o'clock, Masucci's definitely shelled up here in the upper left, I will say. But he still doesn't have Hive Tech. But yeah, so moving to the bottom left, just feeling like this is too difficult an area to attack into, potentially. Huh. Go figure, guys. And there are still these overlords. I was actually looking to see, like, a single Corsair sneak out and maybe obliterate a large amount of these overlords in that back corner. Revolver is very difficult to attack into, but I think White just wanting to call it because of the frustration... Of wanting to attack into his enemy and not seeing an option to do so. And just feeling like it would be too much of a problem if he dedicated some troops. Potentially if he dedicated troops in the upper right. Might might have gotten counterattacked at another location. But a shocking GG. In the semifinal here to give Masuchi the final match. Saying he's enjoyed it but going to call it there. Felt very very early. Regardless... Now we have Masuchi going in against Phoebus for the final. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.